Good afternoon and welcome to another video with a guy and his projects. Today we are working on the 2001 Kawasaki Vulcan 1500 Drifter. And we're working on it because the brakes squeal like a pig smelling bacon, guys. Anyway, so this is the bike. You saw it when I bought it. I haven't really filmed anything while I've been working on it because sometimes I just want to work on stuff without filming. And I decided this would be that project for the most part. So a quick overview on what we had and where we're at. And I bet you all the freeway noise is way too noisy, but. So this had broken seat on it. We replaced the seat. I couldn't fit the sissy bar with this seat, so sissy bar's gone. Saddlebags were completely destroyed. Saddlebags gone. When I bought it, it barely ran. It runs good now. Uh, the windshield completely destroyed. Gone. The lights. The lights didn't really work before. Now all lights work except the front right indicator light. Uh, I can't figure that one out. It works when I plug it into the left, so it'll blink with the left, but it doesn't work and then it's plugged into the right and in fact it's got a short somewhere and it blows the fuse. Uh, highway pegs. I found out inadvertently on the freeway that if the highway peg gets blown up by the wind and folds over, it blocked my access to the brake pedal. Not good. Highway pegs, gone. Could relocate them. I just made it gone. We did an oil change, we topped off the coolant, we topped off all that, everything is good now. Um, tires are good, but what we gotta do today is, uh, you know, we gotta do the brakes. So I bought these EBC brakes, <clears throat> double HTM centered brakes, uh, because that's what Google said to buy. I don't know if these are gonna work good, I don't know how they're gonna work at all. I don't even know how to change these on this bike. But we're gonna find out right now together. So, it shouldn't be complicated. It looks like all we're gonna do is take a couple cover bolts off and then I'm assuming we can access everything we need to access on the caliper. That is an assumption. We'll find out how true it is. This is the rotor. My rotor still feels good. It's not all grooved and nasty and everything. So I'm assuming the squealing is just brakes are worn out and or they were never greased when they were installed. These are pretty cheap, so instead of pulling it apart, finding out if greasing it fixes it, I'm just gonna pull it apart, ditch the pads, install them correctly, and hope this feeling goes away because it is really, really obnoxiously embarrassing. And I don't get embarrassed easy, so, but that's embarrassing. So we're gonna do that. Shall we get started? I'll take you guys along the ride. Um, First thing we need is a screwdriver of some sort, whatever we happen to find in here. Here we go. Beep. We're gonna pop this sucker off here. Kinda do this while holding you guys. And we're gonna pop this guy off here. Bunch of dirt just fell out of there. And yes, by the way, I will link these below in the description. Click on the description helps me out quite a bit. Cover is off. Now we have access to our caliper, which I have no idea how to get off. There's gotta be a retaining bolt. Oh, okay. <laughs> Might be as simple as these guys right here. Let me grab a, guessing that's a 12. Dang, I guess correct. I'm starting to become like my dad. My dad was a machinist and uh, he can look at a bolt and tell you what size you need. I'm getting there. Oh, oh boy. Okay then, that's gonna be more trouble than it looked like. We'll be back. All right, this isn't my normal mentality, uh, but with the ratchet, we're uh, kind of damaging these, so I wanna see if the impact will just zing it off real quick. Yeah, that's much better. There's a much faster pressure. Yep, there we go. There's two. Those are now out, and I was right, I think. We have access to this, but it looks like this uh, brake line hanger is gonna be in our way. Let's see if we can squeeze it out, actually. Ugh. Ugh. Might be easier just to disconnect the bolt. Yeah, let's just do that. Now the game of what size do we need? That's too big. Oh, that one's close. Those, but no dice. What is it, no cigar? Close to no cigar? There we go, right there. Ugh. All right, so 
so that can kind of move. So now, we have access and ability to pull it out. These pads still look mostly good, uh, but they uh, definitely got material on them, so we're gonna go ahead and change them out. Like I said, we already got them. So now the question is, how do we get this apart? I don't know. So it looks like this little teeny weeny thing here is gonna unscrew. So let's find something that fits that. Well, it also looks like there's a cotter pin that's gotta come out. I'm learning as I go, folks. I don't know. I learn as I go. So it looks like there's a pin in here. We're gonna pull out. Ugh. Okay. That's pretty easy. That's that guy right here. Then I'm gonna make the assumption. I'm assuming all the way here, guys. There we go. There we go, that pulls out. Boom, that brake pad slides out. That's pretty grooved up. And then, looks like this one might just slide out just like so. Yeah, those were pretty groovy. All right, now I'm assuming it's like car. We've got to depress these, so let's get a clamp. Okay, so we're gonna grab this. We're just gonna push this back a little bit. Probably don't need too awfully far because these pads are pretty thick. All easy so far. All right, so now I'm just gonna use some brake clean and a toothbrush. We're just gonna try and clean all this up a little bit. Get all the grime and nastiness off of it. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry for a second. So now we got some brake parts cleaner, or uh, brake parts lubricant. Ugh. We got our pads. Pretty much you're just gonna brace anything that the back of your pads are touching. That just keeps the metal on metal a little smoother. Makes it a little less noisy, supposedly. And I'm also gonna grease this pin right here. Oh. <laughs> All right. So now, I believe, we slid this side in, like so. Yeah, I think it was just like so. And then this one, we went. Uh oh. Nope. Goes like this. And then this slid in like so. Just like that. Easy peasy, guys. Easiest brake job I've ever done. No joke. All right, so now we're gonna take this, we're gonna slide some grease on here too, and this. Just need to connect through there, connect through there. Okay. And we just gotta find a little hole for the pin. Right there. And you just gotta stick this little pin back in, however that happens. Pins back in, is in. Go ahead and clean up some of our grease mess. I think we're ready to go back in, guys. That quick and easy, look at that. So now, the challenging part I'm guessing is getting this back on the rotor without being able to see it. There it goes. Now you can take this. that put this guy back on here boom voila now we're gonna go ahead and drain this a little bit Ugh. we can get that off should have drained it while it was out but you know 
Don't always think about such things. All right, now we grab our 10 millimeter and crack. There's bleach, oh yeah, that's brown fluid. Look at that, that's yucky. I'm gonna put this on here. Urgh. Okay, now I'm gonna track this line up to this. This is where we know it's at, so we're gonna undo that. Well, they only want dot four in here. We might not have dot four. Let's uh, verify before we get too far after. Let me tighten that back up. See if we have dot four. Let's see. I got dot three. No dot four. All right, we're going to the store. All right, just stopped at my local store, got some dot four. So now, Go ahead and pull this cover off here. I'm gonna take the cap. Oh man, just made a mess. Depress that if you can. Oh, that's not good, but you know, whatever. Leave it down there then. All right, that brown fluid is yucky, so let's get rid of it. Now, we'll let the air compressor back on. Come over here. We're gonna loosen this bleeder valve. Just a little bit. Where did we just put that? Oh, right there. We'll pop the cap off this. Boom, boom. I'm gonna squeeze this open. Now it's gonna flow through. have to be here at the ready to keep this full. Get all that dirty nastiness out of there. So you'll notice how the line became clear, all the nasty fluid got out, so we're probably good. So we'll throw a wrench. Oh, there you go. Went way over here. And I think we're happy with that level, so we'll be okay. We're gonna suck just a little bit more out of it. Just to get the level where I want it. Right there, perfect. Yes, I will link that down below. And take the cap off, put your protective cap back on. Boop, done. Oh. Grab our cover, put our cover on. That's on good and tight. Oh, this cover. Just gotta figure out how this went on. I think it was just like so. Yes, indeed you. Bingo. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. Brake fluid looked like motor oil, uh, engine oil, uh, dirty engine oil. It's not good. Uh, probably a good chance it's never been changed or flushed before. So I expect to have much better brakes now that that's been flushed. Uh, it's all clear, it looks good. And uh, yeah, it's not hard to maintain your vehicles, guys, your bikes or whatever. It's pretty important, so make sure you do that. Anyway, this is running good. I think I might take this for a quick little drive um, and uh, just see if all my squeakies went away. Just moving this, rolling this forward and back with the brakes on. I don't have any squeaks. That doesn't mean that'll be the case once I, you know, get going, but we're gonna go find out. We'll take a little ride and see what happens. Yes, I know she needs a bath real bad. Anyway guys, I will link all the products I use down below. The brake pads, the uh, well that's really all I use is uh, fluid and pads. So I will link both those down below and a little surprise as well. Click on the links, anything you buy within 24 hours after clicking that link, as long as you don't click another somebody else's link, I get a commission off of. It's very helpful. Thank you to those that do it. Um, and uh, yeah, buy the products if you like, of course. I get a little kickback from there as well. Uh, other than that, be safe on the road, guys. Sturgis Rally is coming up in just a couple of weeks. By the time this posts, it might actually be right before the rally. So uh, yeah, the Sturgis Rally, I'll be in it. I got some family coming in from an out of state. Uh, they're gonna ride, I'll probably ride with them. That's the whole reason I bought the bike. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I'll probably sell this right after the rally, maybe even during the rally. Everything works now as it should and as it's
expect. Just needs a bath, really bad. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Subscribe, like, comment below, all that stuff. PayPal link if you want to donate directly to the channel. And thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. Thank you.